Okay, so what I have here is the, and I'm going to butcher this name unfortunately, but uh, is the either pronounced Honard or Johnard uh, extraction tool. And what this is, is a tool to remove connectors. And let me just, so I can zoom in. Actually, I'll just push this up to the camera. It is going to be a little difficult to see here, but you, you have two sides. One's an insertion side and the other is an extraction side and I believe the white side here is the extraction side and then the red is the insertion side so I'm going to illustrate first the extraction because what I have here are two these are Ethernet so you can take a Ethernet cable to a uh, typically this is called the serial connector but I think the official name is the DB9 connector but you only see eight pins because Ethernet cables actually only come with eight wires, right? Four twisted pairs. So what I'm going to do is I want to match this one and actually have a second one here because I did these at two separate times and I have more of these in this, what I call my A layout, than I do the, these two, which are the previous A layout. So I'm going to convert both of these to this wiring here. So let me actually zoom in a bit. Okay, I actually had to go in and change a couple of settings to the camera because I couldn't get it to focus. So uh, hopefully I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the way because I'm going to zoom in here. If you can see, this is yellow, brown, green. And then these previous ones start black, red. So I need to actually change these two. But I'm actually going to only <laughs> illustrate uh, the extraction insertion of actually the extraction of these I'll cut away do the rest of them and then I'll illustrate the insertion so that way uh, to keep this video short and concise so let me move these out of the way and uh, actually I'll keep this here in frame just as a so that way I can show that so so white is the extraction and what I need to do here is get this cable into the channel and this is always kind of the bit of a struggle because if you look here there's a channel and it's not the close it's not the easiest thing to see but yeah, I can't get it to focus on there but there is a channel that the wire kind of will put you jam the wire into let me get that in so see the wire is partially in and it will of scratch up your wires but that's kind of the unfortunate thing but if you're careful you won't actually damage the wire you're just going to scratch up the plastic on the outside the plastic coating and with a little bit of and i've actually not used this tool enough where i've gained expertise whereas I feel, I feel pretty confident building Ethernet cables. This is kind of my first time with this. Okay, so I've essentially got the cable around there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push in, and then you'll feel it slide in, and then it kind of sort of quote-unquote pops. I've heard it described that way, but this didn't really pop. It just kind of shoved in, and then you slowly pull on the cable. Because this is so such a narrow space, this makes it difficult so I end up having to pull both but it slides out easily if it doesn't slide out easily try reinserting it so that one's out and then I just slide the extraction tool off move that to the side move on to the next one let's see that was a little easier to grab it there a bit more room and grab I'll just show the second one and come on baby uh, it's fighting me here okay got it over the wire I just need to get the two ends unfortunately with this tool there we go is I had to actually shape it a bit it's not as machined uh, the tolerances aren't very tight but then again this is a flexible metal which is what you want so push this in so there was a bit of a pop there and I pull out both the wire and 
the tool itself holding together. Uh, ideally, you want to pull the wire because uh, if you pull the extraction tool out by itself, you're just taking the tool out. So, okay, what I'm going to do now is cut away and then come back once I've extracted all the pins and then show you the insertion side. Okay, now that I've got all my pins removed, so I did mention it was a pop. Um, probably the best way to describe as the tool, as the white, correct, the white ins insertion or the extraction side makes contact is it would be more of a pop like if you pop your knuckles. Uh, hopefully, you know, for those that don't like that sound, you'll recognize it immediately. It's not a one to one correlation, but, uh, you know, because uh, I've always heard it in cracking your knuckles, but it's more of a popping sound. So it, you'll feel that kind of pop, that little bit of a give. So if I'm going to change it to this A configuration, the first connector, this pin here, is going to be yellow. So I'm actually just going to insert a couple and then let not bore you through the rest of them because this is pretty just a very repetitive task. So here the same thing. Now that these connectors are outside, it is a lot easier to actually get the wire in. But for the most part, you don't actually have to seat the wire in the tool until after you've inserted. You could ideally just push it with your hand, but if you actually wanted to use this side, same thing here. There's a channel there. Put the wire through the channel, push, and you'll hear it pop as well. And that's pretty much it. That's how you, and then you would do that for the remaining of them and you're done. Wrap it up as this is here, kind of twist them together and then seat these connectors back into here. Like, so it just gets pushed in. And then I have my DB nine to ethernet cable connector. Uh, ideally, this is used for, I'm going to be using this on a Raspberry Pi where I have a uh, US, I have a long Ethernet cable to a serial port to USB, which sends data, which is going to read data from the Raspberry Pi over a slightly longer cable. All right. Well, I hope everyone liked that and found it informative. And thanks again for watching. Have a good one.